A giant Romeo is dancing right behind bars. What is he doing there? Oh my god, just look at these lasers that have become multicolored. Wait, is he stuck? He doesn't even take damage. He doesn't move. I think he was offended by us because we run faster than him. Is he stuck again? I think the director of this prison needs to remove these tables from this cafeteria. Hell look, it's Greg. Is it just me or does he not care about us? He's just running around this room in a random direction. Hello everyone, friends. Today we are playing Pajama Mask Prison Escape Mode. Bluey, are we gonna play hard mode? I hope it won't be the same as last time. I hope so too, Bingo. Well, until we try, we won't know. Let's quickly go straight there. It seems to me that there is no point in rushing anymore. Last time we set an absolute record in this game. Now you can go a little slower to examine the map in more detail. Yes, I would really like to see this map too. I just love pajama masks. This is a very cool cartoon. So far, I haven't seen anything new in this map. I'm interested to see the first boss. Which Pajama Musk's character will they decide to make the first boss? Hell look, it's Greg. Is it just me or does he not care about us? He's just running around this room in a random direction. Hey buddy, we are here. Try to stop us. It looks like he's not interested in us at all. Okay, Greg, keep doing your thing and we will continue to escape from this prison. Look, they increased the distance between the pipes a bit. It was a little different in the last prison. I wouldn't call this a significant obstacle, but it's good that they at least changed this. And here's the room with toilets. Let's look for a reward in it. Oh, here she comes. Great, we got an award here. Well now, let's go down to Obby Dungeon. Why do they persist in leaving these tunnels already excavated? This is a difficult mode. Everything here should be more difficult than in the easy one. Maybe I want to dig this tunnel myself. And here is the button. Okay, let's click on it and move on. I can't wait to go through this obby and the boulder test to find out who the second boss knight will be. I wonder how they change the next obby we need to go through. Oh no, he remained the same as he was. Well, I think we will pass it with ease. Let's quickly go through it to see the next boss. I wish they would finally come up with some variety for the rolling boulder challenge. It is very monotonous and light. Totally agree with you. Sometimes I think it would be great if they added some obstacles while we run from one corner to another. They could even add lasers on the floor. Yes, that would definitely be great. Okay, we've already reached the next boss. Let's see who they make boss night this time. Just look! It's Night Ninja! He even appeared by jumping from the ceiling! This is really cool! Hey, Night Ninja, try to catch up with us. It seems to me that we are more dexterous than you. Why are they keeping Ryder behind bars? Okay, this shouldn't concern us. We are now climbing this dilapidated staircase. Do you know what this means? Right, that there is a race with energy drinks ahead of us. Oh my God, I can't believe we only have to climb to get to our favorite part of this game. Every time I wait for this very moment, Oh my god, this is my favorite moment in this game. Every time I would like this super speed to stay with me until the very end. But unfortunately, after this race with energy drinks, the most tedious part of this game awaits us. I just love this race too, but I just can't stand this task with ladders and the task with valves. When will the developers of this game hear us and replace them with something more fun and interesting? It seems to me that we need to take this matter into our own hands and create our own map on which there will not be these terrible tasks, but there will be a teleport that takes you to some more interesting task on this map. Let's do this. If this video gets at least 100 likes, we will definitely make our own map and record a video walking through it. 100 likes? I think this will never happen. Our subscribers don't like our videos that often, which makes us very sad. I hope that your request will come true, and this video will get at least 100 likes. I think 100 likes is not such a big ask. Guys, please help us get 100 likes, and we will definitely make our own escape from our prison. It will be very funny, and we will play it with our subscribers. And the main thing is that it won't have this tedious task with the valve. Okay, let's go through this as quickly as we can and quickly move on to the next tasks. I'm very interested in who will be the third boss in this game. Last valve left! Great! Now we can hurry up and rush to the next tasks. Now we are waiting for an equally fun run with fans. 
quite a lot of speed develops there too. Don't rush so much. We still need to get into this ventilation. And in front of it, there are several laser beams that can be dangerous for us. I think that Blue will be able to pass them without problems. Do not worry. I'm already a pro at jumping over those laser beams. They pose no danger to me at all. I think the developers of this game should have come up with a more difficult test to try to stop me. Hooray! Race with fans! I just love this part of the game. Of course I like it less than the race with energy drinks, but nevertheless, it's also very cool. Great! We did it! Now, you need to be as careful as possible because this is the place where Bluey constantly forgets to press the jump button. Concentrate, Bluey. You're great, Bluey! You managed to jump over the first time? Great! Now let's go to the kitchen and see what kind of boss chef is waiting for us there. Look! It's Romeo! I think this role suits him very well. He also wears a white coat like a chef. Sorry, Romeo, but I'll have to kill you. Wait, is he stuck? He doesn't even take damage. He doesn't move. Hey, buddy, maybe you could at least try to catch us. You gave up too early. I think he was offended by us because we run faster than him. Hey, buddy, maybe you can move around a little. Look, he started moving again. Great, now our fight will be fair. Is he stuck again? I think the director of this prison needs to remove these tables from this cafeteria. They interfere with Chef Romeo's work. Great, he's running towards us again. It's very strange that he doesn't take damage when he's standing. Okay, we beat him. Now let's go to the hill from which we will go down. This boss fight was pretty weird, but the main thing is that we coped with it. Great, we are very close to the final boss. I'm very interested in who they decide to make the final boss of this mode. It would be very cool if they didn't remove the task with bridges. I really like using a life hack that speeds up our passage of this map. Yes, I also really like the task with bridges, but before that, you need to complete the task with lasers. I hope they changed it at least a little. Oh my god, just look at these lasers that have become multicolored. They actually painted these lasers different colors. Well, this looks very cool. Good thing they took care of it. It makes this mode much more beautiful. I think the developers of other prison escapes should take note of this. Multicolored lasers look very cool. I really like how they changed this challenge. Okay, we're past this. We only have one test left to complete before the final boss fight. And again, they removed the task with bridges. Well, okay. Let's move on to the next boss. Oh my god, just look at him. He is very huge. It's an owlet in a huge robot costume. Just look at the size of this robot. It really looks much bigger than the giant heads from the last map. We need to move away from him to a safe distance. He constantly catches up with us. Oh no, he cornered us and we can't move. But wait, it doesn't do damage. Why does he need these huge guns if he doesn't fire them? Okay, this boss was pretty big, but he was lighter than all the others because he doesn't damage us. Well, another prison from which we got out. Look, a giant Romeo is dancing right behind bars. What is he doing there? But it doesn't matter. We coped with this task perfectly. Look, I will now shoot him 360 no scope. <laughs> Just look at this boss knight. Look at this dude. He looks like he has a finger cap on his huge head. Is he just stuck? Don't tell me that. Oh, just look at this big-headed baby. What did he forget here? Oh, we just took away some strange reward. Okay, let's go. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play prison with big heads. Bluey, are we going to play this mode on hard difficulty? Are you crazy? Don't worry, Bingo. I'm a professional in this game, and I can complete this mode as quickly as possible. Look, this grill is so rusty. Oh, just look at this big-headed baby. What did he forget here? Is this some kind of cool skin? It looks like this is true. Oh, just look. Challenges have been changed in this game. These cubes levitate in the air. They will definitely be very difficult to climb. It looks like Bluey is having no difficulties with the new challenging challenges. He's really pro in Obby Prison Break. I had no doubt that he would succeed. Challenge challenges? Dad, it looks like you got very little sleep. You definitely need some rest. You start to get confused in your words.
Yes, looks like you're right. Oh, just look at this boss. A huge head. It seems to me or he began to move a little faster. No, he is still as slow and leisurely as the other bosses in all prison escape modes. Well, so far, I don't think they made this game more difficult. On the contrary, it even became a little easier. Yes, it seems to me that they complicated this game only by adding laser beams on the floor or levitating platforms. I expected a little more. Well, maybe we can set a record this time. You've never lost yet. I will try my best. Oh, just look, this is a room with toilets. Oh, we just took away some strange reward. Okay, let's go. Um, has someone dug a tunnel yet? I think they just made the game easier. Why is this added to hard mode? Yes, I think this mode is absolutely not difficult. Those lasers on the floor don't make this game any harder at all. Okay, let's see if they added something new and interesting to this obby dungeon. Look, we need to go back to get there. Okay, this is really interesting but they removed a really difficult bridge with half-broken planks. Why did they decide to give it up? It's actually quite strange. I think it would be much more interesting if they left this bridge but made all the boards dilapidated. It would be really difficult to pass. But this obby was actually a little more difficult. But we still passed it the first time. Wait, didn't they add any complications to this location? I think it would be possible to make a smaller interval between the rolling balls. That would be really hardcore. Yeah, looks like all they added is a laser beam on the floor in front of the stairs. It definitely doesn't make this game any more difficult. Just look at this boss knight. He looks very goofy. He looks like he has a finger cap on his huge head. Is he just stuck? Don't tell me that. Come on, is this really hard mode? So far this game doesn't cause any difficulties at all. I really hope that they greatly diversify running with energy drinks. This is our favorite challenge in this game, and I would really like it to be more difficult. Now we will find out. So far, this game doesn't look any more difficult than an easy prison escape mode. Nothing complicated has been added here except laser beams on the floor. Great. We are almost there. Now we'll drink an energy drink and start the race. I really hope that it really has become more difficult. Great. We drank the energy drink and now let's run forward. Wait, the track remained the same. She has all the same tests. Have they seriously not added anything new here? Not this. I really wanted this test to be diversified in some way. It's certainly sad that they didn't add any variety to this challenge, but nevertheless, it brings me just as much pleasure as before. Okay, we're done with him. And now we will go to the test with stairs and ventilation. I hope they didn't make the ceiling higher and we won't have to jump higher. Wait, where do we need to get the ladder? Seriously, have they installed it yet? It seems to me that this is not a more difficult mode, but an easier one. These laser beams don't make it any harder. Just with the stairs, it would be much more difficult to jump over them. They didn't add any complications even here. We've already completed most of the game in 250 seconds. Are we seriously going to beat this game on a more difficult mode faster than on an easier one? Don't rush to conclusions. Maybe they added some complexity to the task with the valves? I think it would be cool if they changed their location to confuse us. This complication would really add a lot of variety to the game. I can already see the first valve, and it looks like their location remains the same. Look. All they added were levitating platforms at the bottom. This makes the task more difficult, but nevertheless, it is very easy to complete. I think it would be better if we chose the normal mode. So far, we have completed this part without a single death. It seems to me that if we played on easy mode, we would have made a mistake at least once. This difficult mode is difficult only for small children. I think we can really set a record today. So far, we are going through this mode without errors. Look, they added laser beams on the floor here. It will be really very easy for us to get through this. Perhaps they added some complications to running with fans? No, he is the same as before. I think the platforms you need to jump from are even a little longer, which definitely makes this game easier. 325 seconds and we are almost at the finale. This is really a very good indicator. We couldn't achieve this even playing on easy difficulty. 
And here's Bluey's first mistake. You jumped too early, and that's why we didn't reach the pipe. But in any case, this will not affect our record time very much. We lost some measly four seconds. Well, I really hope they really make the boss fight with the boss chef more difficult. Looks like no, he remained the same. It seems to me that in this mode, it's even easier to hit him because he has a very large head. No need to aim to hit it right. And he also doesn't have a frying pan that he can use to deflect projectiles straight at you. Have you noticed that he takes a lot of damage? It is quite possible that this only happens because we constantly hit him right in the head, and this causes more damage to him. It was very easy. Well, there are only three tests left, more precisely two. I can't call this downhill ride a really difficult challenge. Okay, I'm wondering how they'll make this game even more difficult. Wait, is it just me, or are we stuck in the ceiling for a second? Okay, okay, never mind. The main thing is that we are just two steps away from the final boss. Let's see how they complicated the laser tests. Did they really add even more lasers? In the last water prison we went through, it was really difficult to pass the tests with lasers because the controls were slightly changed. But it seems to me that in this game, the test with lasers remains the same. Yes, it looks like they really didn't complicate this task at all. Okay, I hope they made the bridge task really harder. Perhaps they removed the life hack with quickly moving all the boards from the second floor to the first. Yes, I hope they actually did something interesting in the last task. Wait, what? Did they remove the task with bridges and just put platforms with lasers? Oh my God, this is so easy. Just look, this is the final boss. Wait. Is it me, or does he not have a weapon? Do we really just have to shoot him? There's no way he's going to attack us? This is not a boss, but just some kind of shooting gallery. Okay, okay. Only 463 seconds have passed. This means that we have set an absolute record for passing the prison. Look, I will now shoot him 360 no scope. This is truly the easiest boss of all. I damage him very quickly. It seems to me that it will be very easy for me to win it. I can cope with this game in just 500 seconds. Great, well done, Bluey. Now let's run to this car as quickly as possible. Wait, don't we have to go to the helipad? Okay, we finished this game in 500 seconds. Let's quickly move on to the next one. I'm stuck! Come on, okay, I live here now. Look at this dude. Wait, are we really going up against a robot with a pea shooter gun? Seriously? Bye-bye, Mr. Teacher. You're definitely not destined to be a great racer. Wait, you're gonna go down there like a skater on a railing? Hello, everyone, friends. And today we are escaping again, only this time not from prison. Blue. I think we need to put something else there to go up. Yes, I think this table would be perfect. Great, now we can go upstairs. I wonder what awaits us in this tunnel. I hope there will be something new there. I don't want to go through the same route again like I did in Barry's prison. Okay, parkour again. Well, let's go ahead and complete this parkour as soon as possible. This parkour is much more interesting than what we have seen in other games. I just love parkour. I hope there will be more interesting parkour here. This location is quite large and high. I hope we don't accidentally fall down. Otherwise, we'll have to go through it all again. Don't worry, Dad. Bluey is a master of parkour. I'm sure he won't fall once and we'll move on. Well done, Bluey. You cope with these tests very quickly. I hope there is a leaderboard here. You might get into it if you keep it up. Okay, so I need to hurry up a little. Well, now I will try to speed up this level. The main thing is not to fall down now. Otherwise, the speed run will be over. Great, we're finally out of this tunnel. Okay, let's see what happens behind this door. Ventilation again? Okay, let's climb into it. Traveling through ventilation can be quite scary. Sometimes it seems that someone might appear around the corner. Okay, we fell. I hope that's how it should be. I hear someone snoring. I wonder if the next boss we should be afraid of is snoring. I wouldn't want anyone to attack me now. Okay, let's find a way out of this ventilation and find out who's snoring. His snoring is so goofy. And here is the <coughs> sword. Hello, Mr. Teacher. We're just trying to escape this school. Please stop trying to catch up with us. There is a door with a red key. Oh no. Looks like we ran in the wrong direction. Okay, Mr. Teacher. 
You will have to run after us for one more lap. Sorry for the inconvenience caused. Oh, shoot. Looks like we took a wrong turn and ended up going the wrong way. Sorry, Mr. Teacher. We'll have to run another lap to make up for the mistake. Guys, no one addresses a teacher as Mr. Teacher anymore. Usually we use the word Mr. and the last name. Sorry, my bad. What I meant to say was that Mr. Teacher isn't too happy about being called Mr. Teacher these days. Usually people would use his full name when addressing him rather than just calling him Mr. Teacher. Look, it's some huge gymnasium with a giant chasm. I don't think it's safe for kids. This gym is for very risky kids. Look, I've got super speed. Oh no, I'm stuck in the textures. I was just starting to get excited about playing a really cool game and this happens. Well, I'm gonna have to restart the game. Okay, at this point you need to be as careful as possible not to hit the textures again. I think you should write to the developers of this mode about the problem. Yeah, you should definitely be careful to not encounter the same issue anymore. It's not fun when you get stuck in the textures and can't play properly. As a safety precaution, I think you should reach out to the developers of this game mode to notify them of the issue. Oh no, you fell. Well, because we're stuck in textures and we're down now, I don't think we can claim a spot on the leaderboard. Okay, that was just a first try. We'll definitely get on the leaderboard someday. But right now, we're just gonna get through this game. Wow, that's a basketball assignment. I just love basketball. All right, I did it. Well, let's go and see what happens. <laughs> Looks like that teacher got mad and now he's going to chase us around on that segue. You need to find a way out of here before he catches up with us. The teacher is quite furious with us and is out for us. The only way to escape his wrath is to find a way out of here before he catches up to us. Let's try to evade him and make a grand escape with our lives. Okay, we finally got out of there. Well, let's move on and see what challenges await us next. I hope we see something new. So far, I'm really enjoying this mode. Lasers? Uh, okay, at least they're not like the lasers in the prison break. Well, let's just say that was something new. You'll notice, by the way, that we haven't lost our super speed buff yet, and we're running very fast. I think it's a bug or something. We shouldn't be running that fast in this game. It's true that our buff hasn't been disabled yet, and we're running extremely quickly. It could be a bug, or maybe the developers intentionally left it in this mode so that the challenges would be more challenging. But regardless, we definitely shouldn't be moving this fast within the game as it's unfair and would make completing the missions unnecessarily easier. Whoa, look, it's a power run. Well, let's remember how it happened. Let's drink the energy drink and run! It seems to me that even after we drank the energy drink, we didn't change our walking speed. It was definitely a bug. Well, let's see if our movement speed will change when the energy drink is finished. That's right. Although we chugged the energy drink, our movement speed didn't change. It must be a bug and not an intentional feature. Let's wait and see if the movement speed is adjusted once the energy drink buff expires. It's only a little while away. I can already see a way out. I wonder what happens next. <laughs> uh, uh, I fell. Okay, we'll run again. Yeah, it's almost like our momentum is off. We can see an exit up ahead, but we keep falling and tripping up. Maybe it's the buff that's causing us to be so unsteady, or something else entirely. Let's try again and run carefully to prevent any further falls. This energy drink run is pretty cool because there are also springboards. It's cool when you have to try to get on a springboard and jump up with it in addition to running normally. Indeed, the energy drinks make this run a unique challenge as there are additional springboards that can be utilized to catapult you above obstacles. Navigating them while still running normally adds another element of difficulty to the game. Wow, is this a race against the teacher? Look at that car. Oh my god, I could ride this thing forever. Wow, it looks like we've reached the section of the game where we have to compete with the teacher in a race. Look at that car. It might be a pretty interesting ride to stay on forever, but we'll have to keep moving forward and reach the finish line before the teacher catches up with us. Wow, there are even boosts here. That's cool. It reminds me of Super Mario Kart. I really like racing games. They're so addictive. Yeah, these boosts are a great addition because it adds another element of excitement and challenge to the racing sequence. It's definitely reminiscent of Mario Kart, with the boosts and all. I also love racing games and find them extremely addictive. All right, we're ahead of him. Well, the key now is not to let him get ahead or we'll lose for sure. Come on, Bluey. We're in the lead right now. The key now is to keep our advantage 
to not let him overtake us. Let's keep a sharp eye on the teacher's progress and make sure we stay ahead of him. The finish line is near. Come on, Bluey, you can do it. All right, we won. You're the best, Bluey. Bye-bye, Mr. Teacher. Go back to your work. You're definitely not destined to be a great racer. We're already 88% of the way through the game. Come on, Bluey. There's only a little bit left. We're almost at the finish line. We're nearly at the finish line already. The percentage is going up quickly, and all we have to do is keep up the pace and cross the finish line. Come on, Bluey. We're so close to winning this game. I wonder what awaits us at the end. Some super hard boss? I hope it's more interesting than the boss in Barry's prison. Or at least a little harder to make it more fun for me to play. Okay, this looks like the location with the final boss. Hope you're ready, Bluey. Wait, you're gonna go down there like a skater on a railing? Yeah. I decided to psychologically damage him with my cool appearance. This guy definitely didn't expect to see such a cool appearance. Wow, is that some kind of Super Teacher 3000? Wait, are we really going up against a robot with a pea shooter gun? Seriously? Come on, Bluey, you can do it! By the way, it does quite a bit of damage. His projectiles are very hard to dodge. He's got a little more than half his HP left. Try not to get hit by his projectiles, or you'll die for sure. Just keep shooting and don't stop. Be cautious. He still has half of his HP remaining. Don't allow yourself to be struck by his projectile attacks, or otherwise you'll end up losing your life. Just keep firing away and don't stop until his HP has been reduced to zero. We can do this. You've only got two or three hits left. Just shoot him and run around. This tactic is very good against him. He turns quite slowly, and because of that, he doesn't hit you with projectiles. You only have a few more hits left until he's defeated. This is when you have to really be on your toes and be extra careful. That's great! You beat him! Well done, Bluey! Now get on the school bus! We have to get out of here before any of the other teachers catch up with us and send us back to school! Well done, Bluey. That was very easy. Let's get out of here before the bus leaves. Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want us to play your favorite games, be sure to write their names in the comments. We read all your comments and try to play what our viewers ask us to do. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a video with your favorite game and follow our YouTube channel. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone. Hey, why doesn't this guy have a jet ski? He might drown. Ha-ha, <laughs> bye-bye, fatty. We're leaving you. You've been a good competitor, but it's time for us to move on. Is this the stinky toilet? Why don't we fart? Are we gonna have to run away from a Barry on it? He caught us. It's cool, because now we won't have to crash into those annoying benches all the time. Wait, I'm gonna take the jet ski up the stairs? Um, how does this work? It seems to me that dolphins, sharks, and other sea creatures should usually be put in a water prison. Hello, friends. And look at the cool mode we found today. What are those jet skis? Wait, is that a water prison? How is that even possible? It seems to me that dolphins, sharks, and other sea creatures should usually be put in a water prison. Why are we even here? I hope there's something new in it, and not just a Barry jailbreak with water. We were shown jet skis at the very beginning. I hope we get a chance to ride them. Yeah, that would definitely be cool. The only transportation in this game is a car and a helicopter at the very end. I think it definitely needs something new. Yes, I completely agree with you. Okay, let's see what's ahead. It's gonna be an interesting game. I'm sure of it. Whoa, is that a jet ski? Oh my God, it's really him. Are we gonna have to run away from a Barry on it? He caught us, but there's nothing wrong with that. I pressed the button in time, and now we'll be away from him in no time. Wait, I'm gonna take the jet ski up the stairs? Um, how does this work? Okay, we're upstairs. Now we're gonna run to the vent. Hopefully there won't be any nasty challenges here that will prevent us from making it to the end of the game. This jet ski is actually quite difficult to control. It's very clumsy. I think they need to redesign the mechanics of turning the jet ski a bit so that players would be more comfortable playing it. Oh, I'm actually very curious. Will there be a jet ski in the final boss fight? It's going to be pretty interesting. Restrooms again. Is this the stinky toilet? Why don't we fart? Okay, let's dig this tunnel and get down there. I wonder if they made the dungeon obbies a new format or kept the old one. Ah, it's the old one. Okay, let's go through it as fast as we can, as quickly as possible.
This obby is pretty lightweight. I've been through it a thousand times, and I think I can already go through it with my eyes closed. That wooden bridge always scared me. Those broken planks always look like they're about to fall. We have to be careful when we pass it. Okay, this is the last obby before the giant rolling magma ball test. Here comes the giant balloon challenge. I think this is the easiest challenge in the game. You just have to run from corner to corner and wait for the ball to roll past you. Yes, but for me, I always associated this challenge with an upcoming boss. By the way, I was wondering if there will be water in a jet ski in this boss's room. Look, it's water! Okay, this is where we have to swim away from this boss knight on a jet ski. It's cool that they put that in here. I hope we can get away from him with the same tactics. Oh no, he's got us. It's really hard to control this jet ski. Oh no, we were going for the record. And now we're behind the record time. Okay, now take your time, Bluey. Haha, <laughs> bye-bye, Fatty. We're leaving you. You've been a good competitor, but it's time for us to move on. Wow, you tricked him pretty cool, Bluey. Good job. Okay, now we need to get up those stairs to the top. I can't wait for this energy drink run already. It's my favorite part in all the obby jailbreaks. I wish it was possible to go through the whole game at this speed. I would totally set a record. Yes! The speed is indeed very fast. I think it's possible to donate here and buy energy drink, which will help us go through the whole game very fast. Yeah, but unfortunately mom and dad won't let us donate to Roblox. I'd really like to buy some Robux. Guys, donating to jailbreak mode is very boring. You'll just go through this obby run and that's it. And the money will already be invested. It is better to buy some boosts in Roblox tower defenses or in gym simulator. Totally agree with mom. It's even better to donate on some skin or something. I think it's not fair to set records in the game with boosts. It's better to go through the game on your own without cheats. Okay, we passed the obby. Now comes the most tedious part of the game, the valves. I just hate this part. There's no action. You just walk around and scroll through the valves. Bluey, have you forgotten that there's another part of the game? What we need to do now is put up a ladder and climb into the vent and you said you could get through the game with your eyes closed. Ha ha. Yes, I did forget a little bit. I just haven't played a jailbreak game in a while. I totally forgot about that ladder thing. Good thing we were able to get into that vent pretty quickly this time. We often have problems with this because the ladder's quite short. Oh my god, a bridge with a big fan. This task is also pretty tedious because only noobs lose on it. It's pretty easy to pass, which makes it a little tedious. In general, this whole module is pretty tedious, except for the fan run. This run is really interesting to play because you develop quite a lot of speed, and it gives a bit of action. Yes, and now I'm going to do what I hate the most, spinning these valves. This assignment is really awful. I wish they'd change it to something else. What is that, a giant beam from your hand? Wait, what's it even for? Uh, I think it's a waste of Robux. We definitely shouldn't be buying this. But if it guaranteed me that I wouldn't have to spin those valves, I'd give all the Robux I have. Okay, we're already halfway through this mission. Let's get through this task soon, so we can move on to the more interesting tasks. I'm still interested in seeing the final boss battle. Okay, all the valves are cranked. Now we need to run to the vent and make our way to the next interesting challenge. Bluey, I hope you remember what's next. Of course, there's going to be a fan run now. That's one of the most fun parts of this game. I love the speed that the character develops during this run. All right, we're going to be in that location now. Too bad the berries didn't change anything visually in this jailbreak, just added water. At least they added a jet ski. It really diversified the game. Be careful, Bluey. So far you've done it in 350 seconds, and that's your all-time record. Do you think you can do it in 550 seconds this time? I don't know, Bingo. I'm gonna try really hard. I'd really like to set a new record today. I hope our viewers want to see me set a record in this game, too. Oh no, Bluey, did you forget to jump? You're not gonna make the record that way. Be as careful as you can so you don't have to do it all over again. Now there's going to be a boss fight with the boss chef. Here we are also given a jet ski, and we will ride it away on water from the boss. It's cool, because now we won't have to crash into those annoying benches all the time. They were really getting in the way of killing that boss. Tell me about the toughest bosses you've ever faced in a game. I'd really like to know about the toughest bosses in games. I've faced some really tough bosses in my time as a gamer. 
there are a few that really stand out in my memory as being particularly challenging. One is a boss from Dark Souls called the Fume Knight. He was this gigantic armored knight with two massive swords who would constantly lunge at you and cut you to pieces. It took me hours of practice to beat him. Another tough boss I faced was from God of War called Zeus. He was a massive lightning-infused titan with insane strength who would shoot lightning bolts at you until you ran out of health. Woo! Those sound like some pretty powerful bosses you faced. The Fume Knight from Dark Souls sounds especially formidable with his huge armored frame and double swords. And Zeus from God of War sounds like quite a daunting challenge with his formidable strength and relentless lightning bolts. It's impressive that you managed to take these formidable foes down in the end. Ha ha, thanks. They were definitely some tough bosses to beat. The Fume Knight was indeed a formidable opponent, but after a few tries, I was able to learn his attack patterns and dodge his attacks. As for Zeus, his relentless lightning bolts definitely kept me on my toes, but eventually I figured out how to dodge them and weave between his attacks. It was definitely satisfying to manage to defeat both of these bosses after all the challenge they presented. It's satisfying when you finally defeat a difficult boss after putting in all that effort. The challenge of figuring out a strategy and then executing it perfectly to win is so fulfilling. There's something about overcoming a seemingly impossible obstacle that's just so captivating. It's like a puzzle and solving it feels great. Okay, we're one step away from the final boss. All we have to do is get through this obstacle of a bridge challenge. The most important thing is to use the time-saving trick we came up with. Wow, you landed just like a skater on that board. Was that a kickflip? I didn't expect to make it like that myself, but it looked really cool. Okay, there's not much left to do to finish this game. I hope I can do it faster. It's been 520 seconds. Come on, Bluey, last board left. There's not much left. We're one step away from the finals. Well, let's see what's in store for us. Oh my god, it's water and we're gonna fight it on a jet ski. This is really cool. Hey, why doesn't this guy have a jet ski? He might drown. Haha, -ha, they really forgot to give it to him. This guy is really about to drown. Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want us to play your favorite games, be sure to write their names in the comments. We read all your comments and try to play what our viewers ask us to do. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a video with your favorite game and follow our YouTube channel. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone. Today we will escape from prison, but this is no ordinary prison. What kind of prison is this, Bluey? Please tell us. This is the prison of a whole family of guards. Mom, dad, and son guards will be hunting us today and perhaps their grandparents will help them. Wow, sounds interesting. I really want to see them already. I hope they won't be as difficult as the teacher. I've never played this game myself, but I think it will really be much more difficult than escaping from school. Did you see it? They also have some green weirdo who will help them. He looks like an alien or something like that. There's a very interesting obby here. I hope it will only get more interesting. Look. There's a shovel and some kind of sandbox or something like that. Here, you also need to dig a tunnel for yourself. Oh no, you lost! These lasers move so strangely. I think it's worth being a little more careful and learning their moves to get through this. It was quite difficult, but I did it. Look, there's that green weirdo again. Stay there, my friend. This is definitely your place. Ha <laughs> ha. You nailed it smartly, Bluey. Well, let's quickly move on. I can't wait to see the rest of the family being supervised. Look, some blue fool. He probably doesn't even know that he has to stop us too. Okay, now let's go through that door. Oh no, here they come. This is the warden's family. Run away from them now, Bluey. They might catch us. They are so slow. Hey, Daddy Warden, oh. you need to take your son off your shoulders to catch up with me. Bye-bye, stupid. I hope we never meet again. Well done, Bluey. It was easy for you. What, are these trampolines? I just love trampolines. It's cool that they added them to this game. This green guy still continues to walk in this green liquid. Boy, I don't think you should walk in this water. It may be poisonous. Although judging by your face, you might not care. Haha, <laughs> he really looks like he's lived in this water his whole life. 
Bluey, did you fall into this water? Take your time and be careful. Some of the obstacles here are extremely unpredictable. I already understood this, Mom. Okay, I'll be as careful as possible from now on. Well, now we need to move on. I wonder who else we will meet here. Are dogs cops? Seriously? They decided to force the whole family to work in prison? Okay, maybe we'll see the hamster cop or the goldfish cop again. Do they really have a two-headed dog? I feel sorry for this guy. Look, Mommy Cop decided to relax in the pool and doesn't even notice us. Well, that's good. It means we won't have any unnecessary troubles. Okay, that was very easy. So far, all obbies are very easy to complete in this game. Oh my god, this guy scared me. I hope there won't be any more screamers like this. He's not scary, but he managed to scare me. It was quite unexpected. Indeed, it's preferable to not encounter any more screamers like that one. He wasn't exactly scary, but he was definitely unexpected and caught us off guard. Let's hope that there aren't any more sudden surprises in this game mode, and that the obstacles ahead are more predictable. Oh my god, just look at that face. What did this guy forget in this wall? Well, another obby. It was pretty easy. The task with the stairs is already familiar to us from the escape from Barry's prison. Looks like this guy left a big old gap in this wall. Wonder what he forgot in there. Well, anyways, here's another obby. Look, this is some kind of gym. Why are there so many balls here? Oh, no. I don't think we should have touched him. Now I can't move. Oh, no. This cop caught us. Well, now I know I need to get around these balls. Now I'll be more careful. Looks like there's a gymnasium in here. Seems like a ton of balls have been scattered around for some reason. I think you might have triggered a trap by touching one of them. Here's a tip. Be extra careful around these balls and make sure you don't set off any traps. Okay, that was easy. He didn't even wake up. Now we need to, um, burg this wall? It will be very funny if he doesn't wake up even after the explosion. What's here? Oh no, sorry guy. We didn't let him poop. I'm very sorry, please forgive me. Okay, let's start blowing up this wall. Now there will be kaboom. And, yes, it exploded. It wasn't loud at all and didn't sound like an explosion. Well, in any case, the security guards didn't wake up, which means that no one will run after us to catch us. Look, it's the bridge task again. It's a pity that here you won't be able to pull off the same trick as in the Abbey prison, and you'll have to constantly go back and forth for these boards. Okay, let's try to do this as quickly as possible. Indeed, it's the bridge challenge all over again. That's too bad we can't pull off that same trick as in the Abbey prison and continuously move forward. Instead, we have to keep reversing the platform and going back and forth for these pieces of steel. It might take a bit more time this time around, but let's try to complete it as swiftly as we can. Okay, that was pretty easy too. Well, now we have the next test. By the way, there is a timer below. You can do it in 330 seconds, Bluey. I hope your name is on the leaderboard. Oh no, she caught me. Mom, you were right. I'm in too much of a hurry. I need to be more careful or I'll be beating this game until tomorrow morning. Great, we're past this. Now let's move on. Look, this stupid thing was crushed by a pipe. How did you manage to get stuck in this situation? It's almost impossible. Wow. This obstacle is rather peculiar. That pipe seems to have crushed the machine and gotten this girl stuck inside of it. How on earth did this incident take place? It's quite ridiculous. I think this obby is the heaviest in this game. Be as careful as possible, Bluey. It will definitely be difficult here. Okay, Mom. I'll be as careful as possible. By the way, did you notice that there is an incomprehensible green liquid below? But for some reason, that green guy is not in it. It seems to me that he doesn't even know about the existence of such a cool habitat for him. And here he is. But it looks like it's his wife. Do they have a whole green family? Hopefully they won't be the final bosses. They look pretty creepy. Yeah, these guys are really pretty creepy. They look like very cheap Shrek models. Wow, look, there are trampolines again. Hooray, I really like jumping on trampolines.
Is this really the sound from Mario? Well, they did it in a very cool way. Hopefully we're close to the end of the game. This game is quite long and I hope we can set a record. Just look at this super cool car. It sure looks like it was put together in a Mexican basement, but I think it's pretty fast. Okay, let's go ahead. What, is she really that fast? Wow, she turns faster than me. Okay, let's go through this race. There is also a super speed button. Cool, hope this helps me break through some obstacles. She has such a powerful turbine at the back. If they gave me such a car in the Rocket League, I would defeat everyone one against three, I'm sure. This car really rushes forward very quickly. Okay, we're at the finish line. I thought that this car would take us straight to the final boss, but it seems to me that there is another task awaiting us. Hmm, the writing is on the wall that we need to free everyone. What does it mean? Look, she's sleeping. I think we need to open all the prison cells to free all these guys. Okay, let's do this. Well, the first guy is free. Three more remain to be free. I hope they can handle it. We will need to pick up the key that will fall out of it. Here's the last guy. Okay, now you are Freedom's friend. Now come on, fight this scary woman. You will be very useful to us. Your sacrifice will count. Wait, she's not dead? But we did everything right. Why can't I hear her? Is she stuck somewhere? No, this guy is stuck. We need to take her to him so that he can kill her. Come on, buddy. Now you will fulfill your destiny. Great, now that's a fight. Um, she died late? Maybe she just farted too much. Okay, the main thing is that we dealt with it. Now let's go over there and open this vent. I hope this is the final boss already. I'm already tired of coming here. This is really a very long time. This game seems to be endless, but there are a lot of interesting tasks here. The game is very cool. Did they really decide to make their son the final boss? Um, okay. It's enough just not to approach him, that's all. The main thing is not to stop shooting. Great, we defeated this boss. This was the easiest boss of all. Well, let's go ahead. It seems to me that this is not the end yet. Yes, just look at this car. She's just huge. Wow, they made another cool car here. I like this game only for the cars. Great. It was a very easy and interesting game. I loved it. I hope we can play something like this again. Hi, everybody. Today we will play Prison Escape again. Hey, buddy, wait for me. Yes, today we're escaping from prison, but this time it's Paw Patrol Prison. Actually, you're already ahead of him, Bingo. Yes, and today their mother and I will help the children complete this game. The guys asked for so long for us to see how they do it that Dad and I couldn't resist. Bingo, where are you going in such a hurry? What, you want to set a world record? The guys who donated to this game were ahead of us a long time ago. So I'm just trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Who will really donate to a prison escape? These guys are very strange. I would not donate to a game that is more interesting to play without donating. Yes, I also think it's a little stupid. Should you contribute money to the game in order to get on the leaderboard? This sounds pretty weird. By the way, this game is quite different from the ones we played before. There are slightly different tasks here. Yes, finally, the map developers did their best. Look, it's Chase. He became the first boss of this map. It looks cool. Yeah, that's cool. I also noticed that he farts louder here than in other modes. Maybe he has stomach problems? I think he just drank too much soda. Remember, children, if you drink a lot of soda, you'll fart a lot. Okay, he caught me and I had to start over. Bluey, you didn't forget to press the button at the very beginning, did you? Um, I forgot. Okay, I went downstairs and now I'll run upstairs again. How could I forget to do this? I wanted to remind you of this, but you talked so much that I didn't want to interrupt anyone. Okay, well, there will be no world record today. Wait for me, buddy. I've almost reached you. This boss, Chase, farts so much it's starting to make my ears pop. Okay, we're in the toilet. They wrote to us in the comments that if you climb on the smelliest toilet among all the toilets here, you will start farting. Let's check it out. I don't really want to dwell on this because I want to set my record. Have you checked this? Yes, he checked. He farted very loudly. I don't think it's worth doing this anymore. This sound is very loud and nasty. Okay, Mom, I won't do this anymore. Look, we have already reached this parkour. The developers have redesigned this level very much. This is very cool. Yes, but I think the idea of deadly puddles is very stupid. Maybe the developers should have made puddles of acid or something like that. 
Yes, or if you step on a puddle, you slip on it and fall off the bridge. It would be much more logical than deadly water. I completely agree with you. By the way, we are already at the level with a huge rolling ball. What kind of boss do you think is ahead of us? I think it would be cool if it was rubble. In the original game, this boss is a knight. It seems to me that the role of a knight suits rubble best of all. Let's go upstairs and find out who got this role. I hope you're right, Bluey. Okay, we're up. Let's see who will be the knight. You guessed it, Bluey. It really is rubble. He spawned in not the best place. It will be difficult for me to avoid meeting him. Oh no, he caught me. Now I have to do it all over again. Don't worry, buddy. I'll wait for you on these stairs. He can't get here to me. Great, you escaped him, Bluey. Now we need to quickly go upstairs and complete the next task. Have you noticed that this boss farts a lot too? Is it just me? Or did the catnap prison bosses not fart that much? No, Mom. They fart the same way, just a little quieter. And the sound in this game is really loud and even a little annoying. Bluey, why didn't you wait for me? I was waiting for you at the previous tests. Do you want to have a competition again? Sorry, buddy. It's just that you talk so often about wanting to set a world record that I myself am starting to rush very much without noticing it. What is this, energy drinks? Guys, you know that children should not drink such drinks. They are very bad for your health. Yes, one day a boy drank 20 energy drinks in a day and his heart stopped, can you imagine? So guys, don't drink them at all. You can get energy from exercise. Energy drinks are very bad for you. Ugh, did I start farting? It's probably all because of the energy drinks. Hurry up, Bingo. I'm already at the finish line. I can't keep up with you today, Bluey. So, have you been practicing going through fart prison all night? Last time I ran much faster than you. No, it's just that this time I don't have a weird can of energy drink in my hand that always gets in my way. Or maybe I'm just luckier this time, I don't know. In any case, let's try to complete this mode faster than last time. You guys are making great progress. You managed to do almost everything the first time. This is very cool. Yes, it seems to me that if Mom and I went to play this game, we would go through each obstacle several times. This game is very difficult for us because we are already quite old. Dad, did you and Mom play on the computer as children? What games have you played? Yeah, actually your mom and I used to play a lot of games when we were kids. Back in those days, the games were a bit simpler than they are now, but we still had just as much fun. We played all kinds of games, from platformers to RPGs and everything in between. We had some great times playing video games back then. Wow! I didn't even know there were computer games in your childhood. I thought you spent your entire childhood playing tag and hitting the grass with a stick or something like that. Uh -huh. Well, those were other things we did as kids for sure. We did play outside a lot and do things like that, but we also spent a lot of time inside playing video games. Back in those days, computer games were more simple and simplistic compared to the games we have now. We had a great mix of both indoor and outdoor play, but I have to say, I always preferred gaming over playing outside. Ha ha. Okay, we've already gone quite a long way. Let's hurry up, Bingo. We've covered so much in 540 seconds. We can still manage to set a record. Now comes the easiest test. These fan runs are one of the most fun parts of the game. You can get through this pretty quickly, I think. I'm waiting for you at the finish line, buddy. Hurry up, we're almost there. Bingo, your voice has changed. Did you turn on some kind of voice changing program? I think you should turn it off. Oh, sorry guys, I accidentally did this. It keeps turning on by itself and I can't do anything about it. I need to remove this program from my PC. Okay, we're in the third boss room. Who is this, Ryder? Wow, they <sighs> tried even here. They made Ryder the boss of the kitchen. The truth is, this guy doesn't want to be fat. He looks extremely unnatural. And the creators of this map forgot to change its name and left it as Harry the Chief. Okay, you can forgive them. For that. I hope they didn't make him harder than the original boss. Otherwise, we'll be here for a long time. No, it goes by pretty quickly. His HP decreases quite rapidly. This guy isn't the hardest boss you could come up with. Bingo, I'm almost done with it. Do you still have much left? No, Bluey, I'm almost finished too. Wait for me at the exit. I'll be there soon. 
Let me wait for you on the other edge of this cliff. I can't wait to slide down this mountain. This is my favorite part of this game. Okay, buddy. Just wait for me there. I'm almost done with this boss. Okay. Our team is back on track. Well, guys, are you ready for lasers? You have very little left until the end. Already 660 seconds are behind us. I hope 900 seconds is enough for you to get to the car. I think 900 seconds is too much for them. These guys are pros at this game. I think they need less time to get through it. They handled similar games much faster. Yes, there are simply too many other challenges this time that are not in the original game, so we are a little confused at some points. But I think we are showing really good results this time. But it is very good that this game does not have as many bugs as Catnap Prison Escape. If there were as many bugs here, we wouldn't be able to finish this game even in 1,500 seconds. Okay, guys. You only have one more challenge left before the final boss. Drop all these boards carefully so that they do not fly away due to bugs. This happens in all jailbreak modes. Bluey just nearly had one of his boards fly off. Be careful, otherwise you will have to do it all over again and waste a lot of time. Don't worry, Mom. I've done this many times already and am aware of this bug, but this time I was really very lucky because she could fly away. Oh no, one of my boards went flying down. Bluey, I hope you'll wait for me and not go fight the final boss alone. Don't worry, buddy. I will wait for you. Okay, you're already here. Well, let's defeat the final boss as quickly as possible. By the way, I wonder who it will be. It's Chase again. Did the creators of this game lack the imagination to make someone else the final boss? There are a lot of other paws. However, guys, you don't have much time left to catch up. Hurry up, or you will be a noob at this game. I have almost dealt with him. He has very little HP left and is missing one arm. Louie, how are you doing? I only have two shots left to fire. Great, I got it done. It was easy as usual. Well, I think we need to run to the car. I also only have a couple of shots left to win. Great, I did it too and run to the car. We did it in less than 900 seconds, so we're not noobs, Mom. Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want us to play your favorite games, be sure to write their names in the comments. We read all your comments and try to play what our viewers ask us to do. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a video with your favorite game and follow our YouTube channel. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, everybody. Today we go through another fart prison again. Wait, is this a Barbie prison? Ew, she's girly. Why did we choose it? Because our subscribers asked us to go through it. Just look how beautiful everything is here. Everything is so shiny. Yes, I like this map too. Everything reminds me of how I played with dolls as a child. I had the same pink room. You like this room because you are a girl. We boys need masculine and brutal rooms. Yes, we need some kind of card with dumbbells and cool cars. And also that there would be flames, snakes, dragons, and... What else do boys like there? Um, superheroes, exactly. Let there be superheroes everywhere. Look, this Barbie doesn't look like a boss who wants to catch you. Looking at her, you want to come up to her and chat and not run away from her. You woo, do you want to talk to a girl? What about flames, tattoos, a gym, and many other cool things? Well, I'd like to chat with her. She looks pretty cute, don't you think? I think she also smells very tasty. Some flowers or caramel apples. How cute is that? Our bingo baby has matured and started liking girls. Dad, I think we need to start teaching him how to talk to girls. Who knows? Maybe he will find someone at school with whom he will start a family in the future. It seems to me that you will cope better with this task. I myself don't really remember how we met and why you liked me. I was just acting, um, as usual. Wait, are you really talking about this now? You girls. Buddy, I think we need to do some therapy with you. Your thoughts are not about that at all right now. Therapy? Will they give me injections or some other painful things? I wouldn't want that. Is there any way we can do without your therapy? Don't worry, Bingo. It's just that after this girly map, we'll go play Call of Duty or some other cool game for boys. Did I just hear the Call of Duty? Guys, I want to go play with you. Will you take me to the lobby? Guys, Maybe you can now concentrate on completing this game. Of course, 
I understand that you want to play cool games for boys, but now I want you to set a record in this mode. Yes, I think you're right, Mom. By the way, please remind us how many seconds we did it last time. When did we go through the map with the POW patrol prison? It seems to me that last time you completed this map in less than 900 seconds. I hope you can do it for 700 this time. Come on, guys, you can handle this. By the way, Bluey, why do you think Bingo shouldn't like girly things? She's a girl herself. It's normal that she likes pink and stuff like that. Right, I forgot about that. Sorry, Bingo. I just always talk to you like a brother, and I always forget that you are a girl. Sometimes you act like a boy, and that sometimes fools me. It's okay, bro. Let's just concentrate on beating this game as quickly as possible. We've been here for 350 seconds already. We need to move as quickly as possible to meet the time that Mom wants to see. I think 700 seconds is too short. I think we can do it in 800 seconds, and that will be a fair time, don't you think? Okay, let's try to do it in 800 seconds today. It seems to me that this is quite realistic for you. But to do this, you need to never fall anywhere. Do you think you can do it? I think we can do this with ease. We train in these modes every day, so 800 seconds would be a pretty manageable goal for us. You are doing very well this time. So far, no one has fallen. I hope you can pass this on your first try. It's not that difficult, I think. Yes, I think we'll get through it pretty quickly. Bingo is constantly ahead of me, and I'm trying to catch up with her, so our competition is good for us. I also like that there aren't as many bugs here as there are in the Paw Patrol map. There were too many bugs in the catnap prison that prevented us from playing. That's why we dealt with that map much worse. Okay, this time everything should be much faster, I think. It's a pity that in this map all the tests are absolutely the same as in the original one. I would like there to be something new here, and not everything the same, just repainted in a different color. Yes, this is a problem with these modes in Roblox. I know only two modes, which are also about escape, but they are different from the original. This is School Escape and Baby Prison Escape. They are really interesting to play because they have completely different tasks, even though they look like escaping from a farting prison. Yes, I think we should play these modes. I hope our subscribers will write to us about these modes in the comments so that we can complete them. It would be amazing. Yes, I agree with you. To be honest, I'm already a little tired of this mode. We constantly go through the same map, just repainted in a different color. Sometimes map creators even forget to change the faces of bosses, which makes the game even more similar to the original. Okay, buddy. We completed the task with the valves. I hope you haven't been as blunt about them as always. No. This time I remembered the location of all the vents and the fastest route in order to get through them as quickly as possible. Okay, guys. You're almost at the fan run. Great, you will definitely complete that level quickly and without mistakes. It's very light. Yes, I, I completely agree with the Pope. By the way, did I mention that this is my favorite part of this mode? I really like the speed that the player develops while running. He becomes fast like a plane. Yes, I love it too. It reminds me of cool parkour games where your reaction is very important. Here, too, you need to quickly understand which direction you should turn and where you need to jump. <laughs> Didn't you manage to jump? I thought you were the best at this, Bluey. I finally managed to overtake you at this stage. I failed to do this for the first time in the last ten attempts to complete this mode. Do you really think that I can lose to you now? You are very mistaken, little sister. <laughs> Calm down, Bluey. Now we have nowhere to rush. We need to cope with this boss and try to prevent him from killing us. By the way, did you notice that they forgot to rename it too? She doesn't look much like Ronald the Clown. Yes, the creators of this map were lazy again. But I can say that it has become more difficult due to the fact that her size has changed, but the size of the frying pan in her hands has remained the same. It has become more difficult to hit her with a bazooka, and she is increasingly deflecting shells back at you. Excellent. You coped with it. Only 600 seconds have passed, and you only have two challenges left before the final boss. You're almost there, guys. Hurry up. It's a shame that this game doesn't have a shift key. Imagine how cool it would be if you could speed up when you are just walking and not completing any tasks. This would be useful and would save you a lot of time. 
I think it wouldn't be fair if a certain mode had the ability to speed up a character. Then all leaderboards would be invalid in relation to other modes. This is an advantage, so obviously everything would go much faster there. Great. We've passed all the lasers. All that remains is to complete the task with the boards and the final boss. We have another 180 seconds to get through this. I hope we make it in time. Otherwise, all your work will be in vain. Don't worry, little sister. Anxiety can play a nasty trick on us, leading to ridiculous losses. It is better to be as concentrated as possible on the game and not be distracted by anything. I would suggest you stop looking at the timer. He makes you worry more. Okay, buddy. I'll listen to you. We're almost there. Hurry up. I'm already waiting for you in front of that door with the final boss. The main thing is to take your time. You still have a full 100 seconds. In fact, it's already less. But nevertheless, this time should be enough to beat your previous record. Okay, here is the boss of Cyber Bobby Super Mega Robot 3000. I called her that because the creators of the map forgot to rename her again. Okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing is not to forget to shoot at the hands. This is her weak point. Um, did they really keep the name Ronald Mechbot? God, this even sounds stupid. Okay, let's deal with it quickly. We have 70 seconds left. I don't have much left. She no longer has one arm, and half the HP is in the second. I don't think I can deal with it quickly. Hooray! You did it in 745 seconds. Great job, guys. Well done. I'm very proud of you. Okay, let's now get into this super mega glamorous pink cop truck and quickly go to the helicopter that is waiting for us. Wow, there's some kind of rainbow or something up ahead. Did the creators of the map finally try and make something like a beautiful road instead of an endless desert with an empty sky? I cannot believe it. Is it really possible that the car will finally stop as close as possible to the place where we need it and not halfway from the helipad? Great. It's good that the creators of the map made me happy at least in the end. I couldn't stand to run another kilometer to this mountain. I'm very glad that you were able to finally break your record today, guys. You guys are great. I hope you can make this record even better in your next playthrough of Prison Break. Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want us to play your favorite games, be sure to write their names in the comments. We read all your comments and try to play what our viewers ask us to do. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a video with your favorite game and follow our YouTube channel. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone.